Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft from the Minecraft server. I'm still out here in new land. I'm I'm on new terrain still, sort of. Well, this is well, yeah, it's it's new terrain. It's not a new biome, but it's new terrain. Um, I'm I'm saving Spotty. Sp Spotty. I don't know. Oh, I just took a screenshot. Take a screenshot of his cords, because I think I'm going to come back for him, and I think I'm going to bring him back with me, guys. I don't know. I've grown accustomed to his face. <laughs> he's, um, it's been, he's been with me a long time. I know it only seems like a couple episodes to you guys, and, well, it is a couple episodes to you guys, but he, um, he's been with me. I, I haven't, <laughs> those two episodes are just a fraction of the time that you've seen. I, it's probably been four. Five or six hours out here with this guy, you know, and he's he's served me well. He's taken me through thick and thin, and I'm gonna bring him back with me. But first, before I do that, we're gonna do one, maybe two episodes of Q and A caving. I love doing these because they're fun. You know, I saw a creeper in here just a little while ago. I probably should be very careful. Okay, I have wooden torches. Uh, we're gonna do Q and A caving. Not sure how many episodes we're going to do, but I will try to get, well, I'm going to try to get as many questions. First of all, if you don't know where I ask for these questions, I ask for them on Twitter, and people send them to me on Twitter. Uh, and it works out just fine. And I got a ton of great questions. The last time I did this, I did it with Anders. I was a little disappointed with the questions I got. It seems a lot of people wanted to know the size of my penis. Um, which... <laughs> Legitimate? <laughs> I mean, I guess if you want to know, you want to know, right? <laughs> but um, that was a lot of the questions and stuff related to that. So I was a little disappointed at the creativity of the questions, let's just say. But this time, this time was different. I got a ton of good ones. So let's start right away with none other than our friend, uh, Dinnerbone. He asks us a question. He says, Beef, what's a question that you've always wished people would ask you? But they never did. Also, what's the answer to that question? <laughs> you know, I wish people would ask me how much I love Dinner Bone, and then I would answer by saying, I don't love him at all. Let's move on. Huh? How's that for like <laughs> creepy question answering? Holy crap, it's a party down there. Hey guys, wish I had a bucket of lava on me right now. All right, while well, we're beating this guy up, let's go to the next question. Um, what was your favorite awkward moment of life? Hmm, great question. This one's from mine STB. Favorite awkward moment of life. You know, I had one in mind when I picked this question out, and now I can't remember it. Um, let me think here. Awkward moment, huh? Oh, yes, I know exactly which one it was. I used to do real estate photography back before and during my car photography days. So, and this was just for me, I didn't have a boss or anything. This is my little, oh my god, this is, this is a nice cave. Uh, yeah, this is just uh, my own personal thing that I did. I really enjoyed it. And I did it with a buddy for a little while, or, or a few shoots we went to. Um, I actually asked him to go with me, because it's always, it's always more fun with a friend. Anyway, that better be regular spiders. Yeah, that's a regular spider. Uh, so we go to this one shoot. It, it was actually a house uh, very close to my parents' place, like really close. So I thought, hey, must be nice, <laughs> nice old Portuguese people. Was not. Um, they were nice, but they weren't old Portuguese people. In fact, they were young. They were young. It was a guy who was probably about six foot seven, and his roommate. Ooh, I'm not sure if it was his girlfriend or not. Um, but it was his roommate, and she was like a, I don't know, maybe 5'7", model. Seriously. Gorgeous girl. We didn't know this at the time, though. But anyway, we go in the house, and there's two floors they want us to photograph, so we photograph the first floor. How am I going to get down here, guys? <laughs> this is just bad news. Bad news bears, as Paws would say. Uh, we go to photograph the house, and we start with the, the first floor, obviously. Um, always start with the first floor. Then we move up to the second floor. And here's where it gets awkward. <laughs> the guy's downstairs, and he's like having soup or something. He's, he was having his dinner while we were photographing the main floor, which was kind of a pain, because... Whoa! This guy right behind me. Oh, you know what? I should probably take one of these and be very careful from now on. Um, yeah. So he's, he's like having his soup. We want to shoot the place, and he's like having dinner at the kitchen table, which... Was not uh, not a good 
good shooting situation. Regardless, we finish downstairs, shooting around him. We go upstairs, and his girlfriend and or roommate comes out of the shower as we're climbing the stairs in a towel. Um, and she had no idea we were even going to be there that day. I guess he didn't tell her that there was going to be some photographers coming through with cameras. Uh, so don't be naked. <laughs> and she comes through. She comes through. Comes out. Whoa. No, no, no. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. She comes out of the bathroom in a towel. And we're climbing up the stairs. So the angle there. The angle was, uh, was a good one for us. <laughs> Not a good one for her. But anyway, she freaks out. She's like, oh my god. What the heck? What? Are you, who are you guys? And then my buddy is like trying to explain what we're doing there. The, the guy downstairs isn't saying anything, and I'm sure he heard her scream. He was probably laughing it up. Uh, but eventually, we're, we explain and convince her uh, that we're not we're not robbing her or anything worse. And um, <laughs> and she backs out slowly. Well, she'd backed out before she started screaming. She backed out right away. But, uh, yeah, she, she was scared. She was scared, and it was really awkward because... It almost felt like we were robbing the place. She had no idea we were there. Coming up her stairs, she's naked pretty much. And um, it got it got kind of awkward. So, yeah, there's my awkward story, kids. Always remember, when you got photographers coming over, don't be naked. <laughs> if you take anything from this episode, it's not to be naked when you got photographers coming over. Uh, that was awkward, and it was fun for us. Probably not for her. Moving on, we got uh, we got a question from Jack. Who will be your favorite person to meet at Minecon? Notch doesn't count. My favorite person to meet at Minecon is probably a group of people, and not just the guys. I mean, the guy that's a given already, right? I don't know if I should go down here or find another way. Did I look at that Enderman? No. I think I'm gonna find another way. My favorite group of people that I'm about to meet. Um, I know he said one person. I'm kind of cheating a bit. I obviously want to meet the Minecraft guys. They're number one. But second people, second, <laughs> second people? The second most anticipated meeting, I think, is probably with people from my fan server. Because they're awesome. They seem like really nice people. I don't get to spend as much time with them as I, as I should, probably, in, uh, in game. So it's going to be nice to actually meet a bunch of them in person. That skeleton man is scaring me. I hear him, but I don't see him. So I can't wait to meet them. <clears throat> of course, uh, all the Mojang guys too. I'm just excited to meet everybody. I'm, I'm a little... Whoa, that guy just... Wow, disappearing act. All right, let's go grab this iron and then we'll head down that away. I'm anxious to see a lot of people. Where did that arrow come from? There is a skeleton here, and he's gonna hurt me. I don't want to get hurt. I think we're safe for now. Yeah, anxious to meet a whole lot of people. Uh, really nervous about everything. I just, I, I'm just, I get nervous. I get nervous over the the simplest things. It's just the way I am. It's how I'm made up. You know, it's in my DNA. I get really nervous for stupid things. Now. Granted, this is not a stupid thing. I probably should be nervous, so I'm not really... I'm not taking it, taking away the importance of the situation by saying I shouldn't be nervous. I probably should be, but I'm probably a lot more nervous than I should be. <laughs> uh, it's just going to be a group of people. Oh, man. Oh, yeah! Now, wait a minute. I have... All right, let's, let's play this safe here. Trying to get through as many questions as possible, but at the same time, trying to get that diamond. Let's put that light on there. Okay. Uh oh, I heard a baby. Please don't be behind me. Please don't be behind me. I'll get it in a second, guys. I'll get, uh. Where is this baby? Ah, this baby, he's probably above me. Let's get my silk touch out. 
Let's go. Ooh, two. Three. Three. Really nervous right now. <laughs> like I said, I get nervous over everything. Um. Anyway, let's move on to the next question before I head into that terrible, terrible place. If all the meat in the world disappeared, this is from M. M. Sayek. M. Sayek. M. Sayek. Sure. If all the meat in the world disappeared except for for dog meat, would you eat it or become vegan? I would so become vegan. Are you kidding me? There's no way I can eat dog meat. I I've had dogs growing up my whole life. I love them. They're not food to me and never will be. That's not saying I don't respect the people who do um, eat dog as food because it's cultural differences. Some people, I mean, so, oh, that guy's wearing armor too. Some people enjoy it, uh, or it's part of their culture. It's like a, a normal thing. It's like eating chicken, and I'm not going to fault them for that. But I personally would never, <laughs> absolutely never. I could, I would probably starve before I'd eat dog meat. Yeah, I probably would. I'm thinking about that now. It's hard to say when you're actually, when you're not actually in the situation. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'd give in and eat dog meat, but I'm telling you, it'd be, it'd be a tough sell for me. Uh, so thanks for that question. That weird question. That's the kind of questions I like, by the way. I don't like the usual, you know, how did you get your name, Beef? How did, how did you get the name, Finnish Beef? <laughs> Which I got a lot of, but it's understandable. Some people haven't heard that yet, and... Um, I guess they want to know, but I've answered it so many times. Just go back and, uh, if you watch pretty much any one of my Q&A sessions in the past, you will find out the answer to the question you seek. Uh, We're getting a nice haul so far. We should get rid of some stuff. Uh, is it safe to do that here? Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Uh, I'll go away. I'll keep these. I'm saving up all the... All the gunpowder that I find for no particular reason. All right, next question, uh, Emily. Emily asks, "Is Minecraft going to be the first time you're going to meet the other Minecrackers?" Yes, in person. I've never met any of the other Minecrackers in person, so Minecon is the first time. And like I said before, I'm excited to meet the guys. Not so excited for. All the craziness that's gonna come with it. I'm kind of a low-key person. Um, I like to keep to myself in real life. And this is not gonna be the place to keep to yourself. Um, so it's gonna be fun and interesting and scary. But I look forward to it, sort of. <laughs> I sort of look forward to it. This baby is gonna get me, I just know it. He's like... He's been screaming my name the whole time. And he wants a piece of me. This is a nice place down here. Hey! You are dead so There he is, there he is. Aww. You're not gonna make it over here. Oh, you didn't die from that, huh? Okay, let's see if we can't get across there. It looks relatively safe up above. Let's read another question before we go. Um. Oh yeah. Cataquack Attack asks if one minecracker would have randomly show up at your house, which one would you want it to be? That's a great question. Because a lot of you are probably expecting me to say like Good or Pause, um maybe Etho, but that is not the case. If one minecracker was to show up in my house, I would want it to be Kurt. And here's why. Kurt's Kurt's a laid back kind of guy, like me in real life. So, you know, I feel like I wouldn't have to entertain him. Uh, I wouldn't have to, you know, just put on an act or a show. Not an act, but a show to keep this guy, you know, entertained. It would be very low energy. Um, I like low energy. I don't like high energy, high strung stuff, shenanigans. So, yeah, if, it, if I had to pick one guy, I'd pick Kurt, man. we we just hang out and watch or play F1 all day together. <laughs> <laughs> if Kurt's listening, he's probably thinks, probably thinking this is really creepy. It's like, oh my god, he's already got our day planned. <laughs> Don't worry, Kurt. It was just part of the question. I'm not really wishing you come over. I am really wishing he comes over. Uh, okay. It looks like. Oh, 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 my god, that scared me so much. Oh god, I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna be pushed into the lava. 
Yeah, this is not good news. Oh my gosh, it's like a. F oh my god, it's a zombie factory. Oh, oh my gosh, another one. Uh, step right up to your imminent demise, zombies. I'm just gonna keep swinging my sword and looking. Oh, oh no, oh no, 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 no. What are you doing? How'd you do that? Oh gosh. Oh, now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in trouble. Go away. Holy crap, man. There's more. Where'd that little guy come from? The little guy did the most damage. Oh, bats on fire. Alright, let's step back here a little bit. Alright, I need to... Collect my thoughts. <laughs> Let's move on to the next question. Whew. All right, from Matthew, uh, Pinder Matthew. How long do you plan on making YouTube videos, and what are your plans, if any, afterwards? Uh, I've answered this question a bunch of times before, um, so I'm not sure why I picked it, quite honestly. <laughs> but uh, I plan to make YouTube videos as long as I'm allowed to. So as long as I can do this, I will do this. Uh, afterwards, if there is an after YouTube, I just killed the bat, didn't I? These zombies really need to go away, and you too. Is that diamond over there? That is diamond over there. Fantastic. So after YouTube, um, I don't know what I would do. I'd go back to photography probably for sure, because I really love it. Um, I would like to even do the job I was doing before, which is car photography, uh, which is awesome. You drive around to dealerships. Oh, I need I need torches. You drive around to dealerships. Uh, my area was Mississauga and Etobicoke. For those of you who don't live in the Toronto area, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But for those who do, you probably know. Uh, that was my area, so I drive around from dealership to dealership, taking pictures of cars and advertising them on the company website for sale. Uh, it was nothing really glamorous about the photography, but it was fun. I love driving. I love photography, and those two things together make beef a happy guy. I don't know if I want to make it out of here alive, guys. I used up all my other health potions prior to this, so I've got none left. Um, that would be a sad, sad day. Although I did set my... Did I set my spawn? I didn't. Uh, maybe we could set our spawn down here. <laughs> right by the lava. Ah, it's not nighttime, okay. Well, let's bring it with us. What the heck are all the torches I just made? There we go. Let's bring it with us. Um, and hopefully uh, we... I don't have a clock on me either, no. You know, if I find if I find a dungeon, I can make golden apples, which is great. That's what I need right now. A nice, juicy... You scared me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I hit him! Nice! I should kill you too. He's coming at me though. Oh my god, he survived. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> These things scare me so much. Go away, zombies. I haven't been able to make any ground here. It's just been zombie after zombie. Let's go, let's run. Oh, I gotta get that diamond. I forgot about the diamond. As if it was Dre. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a terrible joke. I just got hit again. Nope. Don't, 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 don't. Is this guy still alive? He is. He's walking. No, oh, you bastard. Oh, where are all these babies coming from? This is like... Oh, I'm out of arrows. Don't touch me. Go away. Guys, I seriously cannot make any forward progress here. What the heck just happened to my water? I'll answer this next question in a second. Thank you. I know I'm gonna get- Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he's in armor. Oh, gosh. Please, no other- The lag is not helping, man. My water- Why is the water still here? What? What is going on? Okay. I think we need to get out of here. <gasps> There's more. I need more. <laughs> I need more. 
Okay, get that silk touch again. Eh. Yeah. Alright, alright. Uh, you know what? Down this way is probably the safest path. Let's go this way. Stuff can't come up behind me, though, which I'm worried about. Oh, looks like it's gonna be a dead end. Ah, oh boy. This is not gonna end well for the beef. So what question did I just answer? Oh yeah, the YouTube videos. After YouTube? Uh, yeah, I'd probably go back to photography, or like I mentioned in that episode with Anders, I wouldn't mind doing like some sort of, I don't know, something having to do with talking into a mic. Not because I think I'm great at it, but because it interests me and I'd love to get better at it. Um, and I do have a lot of practice now, I've been doing this for a few years, or close to it. Oh, I heard another skeleton. Yep, there he is. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and block this off real quick. Make it safe. Block that off. Grab this gold. Not with the silk touch. Um, Alright, next question. Will you show us what you truly look like at Minecon? That question is from that last question was from Matthew. Uh I think I mentioned. Mitchell Ferion <laughs> says, Will you show us what you truly look like at Minecon? What kind of a dumb question is that? I'm just kidding. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna hide what I look like because that's kind of impossible. Uh, so, I'm thinking he means like, will I do a vlog or something while at Minecon? There are no plans for that at this point, but I think I will be recording some stuff as much as I can get recorded on my little phone. Uh, I might bring my camera with me too, I don't know. Um, there are no immediate plans to do like a, a vlog or even like a Minecraft or Minecraft Minecon recap or anything like that. But I might. It, it all depends on what it's like. This is gonna be my first con, so I imagine things are gonna be a little hectic, and I'm probably just gonna flat out forget to record some stuff. Um, so we'll see. Did you? Yeah, you came to visit. Why can't I hit you? Come on, you're really. Finally. There you go. This is not gonna end well. I'm telling you guys, you're about to witness my death. Oh, all these skeletons. That's the only two arrows I had. Hopefully I can pick up... There might be another one coming. Is there another one? Maybe not. I thought I heard one. Alright. Well, that's fine. Hopefully this is a dead end. Not exactly. Not exactly. Well, let's block this one off for now, too. Um, by the way, the reason I do uh, this now and not just a half is because uh, baby zombies can now get through one high hole, so... <laughs> Yeah, we don't want we don't want that happening. Let me get this iron over here too. I've gotta be real careful. Oh, there's more. There's probably a skeleton above me. Um, yeah, so that the good question there, Mitchell Feria. Uh, next question from Gavin. If you could if you could live in any country at all besides Canada, where would it be? In the last Q and A, I answered a civ a very similar question. And Anders was here, so I said Sweden. Hee <laughs> hee. But I was lying. Well, I wasn't lying. I'd love to live in Sweden. But uh, I only said that really to make him feel good about himself. <laughs> if I had to pick a country, I would say Portugal. Because I know the language. I have a lot of friends and... Well, not friends, sorry. I have a lot of family there. I could make friends, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. I hate these little guys, man. Another one? What is with the babies today? He eh. hit me. Another one? This is the third one! Like a baby zombie spawner? I can't I can't go over there, guys. There's a There's skeletons. I don't have arrows. This guy's gonna get it though. Oh god. Okay, let's um what do I do? What do I do? 
Oh, they're fighting each other. Please kill him. Oh, this guy's dead. Is he gonna come for me? I only have four hearts. Oh, man. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna keep swinging. Yes! <laughs> Another one! You gotta be kidding me. I have one arrow. Oh. Suck it. Just burn. Just die, please. Please? Oh, no. Uh, maybe we can answer all the questions in this little hole in the wall here, or in the corner. <laughs> um, okay, what was that question? Oh yeah, it would be Portugal, the country I'd pick. Next question from Jaden. Do you have any brothers and or sisters? If so, tell us about them. Also, what is the best book you've ever read? Uh, the best book I've ever read was probably, I would have to say... Oh, there's a skeleton there. Is that the same... He saw me. You bastard, he still hit me. Probably shouldn't use arrows for that. That's a dumb move. I'm down to four hearts. This is great. Oh, there's there's my torchies. Oh my god. <laughs> They're everywhere. Ah, he hit me again. Three hearts. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Ah, I don't want to lose my stuff. My bed, my bed, my bed. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have an idea, guys. I have an idea. It's brilliant. It's gonna lose me 30 levels. But it's brilliant. If I purposefully kill myself, I will have all my stuff still here. It'll lose me 30 levels, <laughs> which kind of sucks. But hey, I can get those 30 levels back anytime. I have to set my spawn, though. And I can only sleep at night, which kind of sucks. Uh, let's answer a question here and see if maybe day shows up or night shows up while we... <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh... Oh, that was a terrible mistake. Okay. Okay, three hearts. Everything's fine. Let's answer one more question. Um, oh, yeah, I have to I have to tell you about my, my siblings. I have a sister. Uh, her name is Marta. <laughs> uh, that's, that's all I'm going to give you. She is younger than me by f six years. Six years younger. And she's a hairdresser. Or she colors hair. I guess it's called a colorist or a, a color technician or something. I have no idea. They make up all kinds of fancy names for everything. But um, but yeah, that's her. Uh, and I was going to tell you about the best book I've ever read. Uh, that's a tough one. You know, the one that sticks out to me the most, funny enough, is the first book that I ever completed reading. And that was Hook. <laughs> you guys remember the Peter Pan movie, Hook? I read the book, and that book, it was a very thin book, very big words, big, not big words, large fonts, <laughs> large typeface, uh, so it wasn't exactly, I mean, it wasn't a complicated book, is what I'm trying to say, oh, there we go, uh, but I read it, and it, it really got me into, oh, are they both? Oh, they're both gone. It really got me into reading books, and I've read a whole bunch ever since, so that's probably my favorite. Um, not the best book I've ever read, but I can't really pick the best one I've read. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and kill myself right here. I don't have anything to heal me up with. I have a Splash 2 potion. I have three hearts. Uh, we could keep going and try to survive this. You'll have to find out in the next episode where I continue in the cave and I continue answering a bunch more questions. The first question we'll answer in the next episode is from our very own Pyro. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.